Hello there, and welcome back to Tatooine Table Flip. I'm Jimmy, and today I'll be unboxing an expansion for the game Elder Sign called Omens of the Pharaoh from Fantasy Flight Games. Let's get this thing to the table and have a look, shall we? Okay, let's get this cracked open here. Oh, that's very tight. this okay, single rule sheet like they usually do for these little expansions lightless pyramid setup diagram playing other game modes that's going to be nice they have a different modes like some of the other expansions have had lightless pyramid Magician adventure cards Some additional rules. There's some relics in the game. Dark Pharaoh Special Adventures. That should be interesting. New Doom Icon. Sorry for even glare on the paper there. New Mythos cards. Expert Mythos variant. Hmm. Nice. An expedition card. I'm assuming this takes place of the museum entryway card. Exhibit. Huh. Oh, there's two separate modes there. The sheet was talking about there. Some new monster tokens to add in. Some new investigators. The little tokens talked about over there. And we'll run through a few of the new mythos cards here. This is Let's try to darken this up just a bit for us. Stinging Sands. Take shelter, advance the clock. To find nature, each investigator loses two stamina. The Dead Rise. Defend the camp. Each investigator on an adventure loses two sanity and two stamina. Every man for himself. Each investigator on the entrance loses two sanity and two stamina. Wow. It's like a rough one. You can see these are a little bit different than some of the other cards. I wonder if these are the advanced nightmare mode. Blazing heat. Rest for now. Add one doom token to the doom track. Then each investigator regains two sanity and two stamina. No time to waste. Flip the entrance card, then one investigator loses two stamina. Ooh, flip the entrance card. Interesting. There's some of the new... Oh, let's see. Oh, <laughs> An onk. After you use this relic, regain one sanity. Wow. Regain one stamina. Regain or gain one clue. Quite a few of these here. Let's look through a couple more. The Eye of Light. There's a new symbol, looks like a re roll, next to the red die on these two. If an investigator has the Eye of Darkness relic, you may spend two trophy, one trophy, instead of discarding this card. Hmm. Eye of Darkness, Ancient Flail, Ancient Crook. Ornate Scarab. You get the idea. There's a little mini deck of these artifacts. And it looks like four new companions. Olive McBride. Dr. William T. Mailson. Ezra Graves. And Eric Weiss. Huh. Nice. We'll have a look at the a few of the locations here and Hunt, well, let's start with the old ones. Haunter of the Dark, Nefren Ka, the Dark Pharaoh. Boy, that artwork is awesome. All oh, these have, instead of the Doom symbol, they have a, a 
like a pharaoh head. I don't know how well that's showing up on the camera there. Wow, okay. And let's see, our new investigators here. Hope you guys can see these okay. These are the specialty ones they were talking about in the... Oh, wow. Yeah. Looks like this one's going to have, similar to some of the other smaller expansions, they'll have stages. Looks like a camp, perhaps. Cairo and Deshire. Yep, you're starting kind of a starting location there. This one's called An Easy Journey. Let's just peek through some of these here real quick. Corner Gift Shop. Plague Unleashed. Oh boy. Holy cow. <laughs> Something's out there. Final mistake. Profane Ward, Eclipse, oh boy, three dice are locked, oof, Bloody Tongue, let's see, let's not spoil any more than that, I think that'll do it, great, this looks fantastic, well, there you are, Omens of the Pharaoh, uh, if you've seen this show ever, <laughs> or have listened to the podcast all, or uh, spoke with me on Twitter, or dealt with me on Instagram at all, you guys know that Elder Sign is one of my favorite, if not absolutely my favorite game. And it's my go-to game ever. And even though I have the the app, I pretty much take anywhere with me on my phone, of course, or on my iPad. But uh, I will actually pull out the physical copy of the game with um, if I become indecisive over anything to play for the evening, if, especially if I'm alone playing solo. I'll instantly just go to Elder Sign and pull that out. If, for me, it's kind of a quick setup. I've done it so many times now. So I can just, you know, get it bashed up real quick, play through a game. Sometimes the game lasts less that time than it takes to set it up. But, you know, that's the way the game goes. But I love Elder Sign. I love all the expansions. All of the expansions for this game so far have been ridiculously outstanding. They've been really terrific in that they... Uh, a couple of them have actually uh, felt like they've changed the game, so it's almost like having a brand new game. And with the little bit I've looked at this one so far, I think it's probably going to have kind of the same effect. Um, I see a lot of similar mechanics that the expansion, expansions have introduced, um, such as the um, difficulty levels, indicators on the backs of the cards, things like that. But, uh, oh, as soon as I'm done recording here, I'm setting up and I'm playing this thing. I got to read through the rules and and uh, have a good look. But oh boy, I cannot wait. I am so excited to have this expansion. Uh, I haven't opened the tokens yet, but I'm guessing they're the same quality as the tokens from every other expansion for this game so far, which are all really high quality. Uh, you, they, they are, of course, going to get handled a lot, but not so much that you have to worry about them uh, wearing out anytime soon. The cards all have the uh, neat linen finish that I like and they're all fairly decent cardstock so you know they're they're actually really good quality I really am impressed every time I open a box for one of these games especially the fantasy flight stuff they just kind of go out of their way to make sure that these things will last a long time and then uh, they also make their own proprietary tarot size sleeves for these cards so that's something else I've got to uh, look forward to doing before I actually get a game of this in I think that's about all I can say. It's uh, It doesn't look like there's a lot here, but their little expansions for this game are always deceptive by their appearance. Uh, there is a lot of game packed into these little boxes, and I, again, I cannot wait to get this thing to the table later this evening. I think that's going to do it for this unboxing, you guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, you can find me online at BoardGamerBlues.com or on Twitter and Facebook and now Instagram. That's right, we have an Instagram account now. 
It's Board Gamer Blues. Um, let's see what else. You can email me directly at J I M M I E at boardgamerblues.com. And uh, hmm, yeah, hey, if you guys, if you like the show, uh, how about thumb giving a thumbs up for this episode and maybe hit that subscribe button? Uh, that way you don't miss any more of these unboxings or any of the other shenanigans we have planned coming up sometime soon. I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, I'll see you next time on Tatooine Table Flip. Bye. We'll